So are, are, are you excited about uh, uh, the fact that uh, Verna has found this person who knows supposedly where they found the body for the, uh, the, the ominous bride? Yeah, I'm really interested. I've, hear, I've heard so many legends about it. And, uh, the, you know, we're going to go out and research it and see what, what we find. But first we're going to get some food. Okay. We're going to get food first. A little background on the ominous bride. The ominous bride is called such because uh, uh, she was mur a, a, a woman who was murdered in her wedding dress the night before her wedding day on Halloween night, uh, October 31st, 1949. Basically, uh, it's one of the most famous unsolved murder cases in Hollywood history. Uh, Halloween night, 1949, 50 years ago today. The uh, dismembered corpse of this woman was found. She was in her wedding dress in, the, in, in some building in Hollywood. Now, nobody's quite sure where, where it was anymore because there's so many weird things because the, the uh, case file was, has been missing since 1957. It's, there's a lot of talk about conspiracy. Uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, supposedly her ghost haunts Hollywood, and if you meet her, you're doomed because she'll come up to you and kiss you, and that's the kiss of death, that, as they call it, like to call it the merry kiss of the ominous bride. Uh, yeah, I heard myths, you know, stories. Yeah? Yeah, it's, you know, it was, it was pretty big back, back when it happened. Huh. And, uh... Chase, the, what, so, so what, what did it look like, what you saw? Uh, it looked like, uh, like a floating, like, wedding dress. A floating wedding dress, where? Yeah, uh, just, you know, right, right by here. Yeah? Into that, into that door? Oh uh, yeah, man, it was this lady, man. And she got hacked up or something over there in Hollywood or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I was over there the other day and then I seen this, this dress just going down the street, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, Joe. And then I went to go get the homies, you know what I'm saying? And the homies came around the corner, they seen it too. And I'm like, man, I'm just gonna go back to the crib, man, and I'm just gonna forget all about it. That's all I said. I won't fit to call the police or nothing. You feel me? All right. The file has been missing since 1957. Nobody's sure on exact specifics on a lot of it anymore. But uh, a lot of people talk conspiracy. A lot of people think uh, that uh, po some powerful elite uh, businessmen, city politicians, um, um, Hollywood figures were involved. Per, uh, supposedly, um, Elizabeth Murphy had quite a bit to uh, do with uh, some some pretty uh, inner circles of Hollywood in post war uh, in post war LA. In that in those days, the Hollywood moguls had a very tight relationship with the police, and quite often, if, if someone were of the elite, much as it's assumed in the or theorized in the Jack the Ripper case, you know, if the Jack the Ripper was an elite member of society and it was hush, uh, hushed under and, and no one ever knew what was going on but certain people did. Where Elizabeth Murphy was found in Hollywood um, that there exists a vortex that is actually a portal between the land of the dead and the land of the living. This is what local mystics believe. They believe, one of, one of the theories is that Elizabeth Murphy was actually a sacrifice for uh, the Celtic holiday of Samhain, Samhain, most people would pronounce it, I believe it's actually Samhain, uh, S-A-M-H-A-I-N. This was the Celtic festival of, uh, uh, of, of the, signifying the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter and a complete change in lifestyle and everything and they had to, they, they, they gave, gave a sacrifice to the gods, often uh, human sacrifice. Uh, some, some believe that a neo-Druid cult in Hollywood in the 40s may have been responsible and the significance of this Halloween is the fact that it's the 50th anniversary as well as the final Samhain or Halloween which is what it became eventually of the millennium and at this time supposedly that rift that vortex in time is going to open and swallow all of LA or something like that well, I uh, I heard about the legend when I when I first got out here to Hollywood. I heard a lot about it. Some guys who I used to bowl with told me about it. Uh -huh. and, uh, it it kind of reminded me at first of the, the the Phantom Hitchhiker stories that I had heard back east. But this was there was something about the wedding dress of time unraveling that I knew that when that trousseau fell, 
you know that it was it was time to connect this world with that world it was a, it was an amazing thing so we've i got married on halloween because of the legend oh. that was my entire reasoning right there is that maybe wow. it would save me from her wrath wow yeah. do you think it's just an urban legend i mean since the case file has been lost since the 50s supposedly do you think it ever really existed you know i don't think things don't exist because of some bureaucratic mistake i think it's a real thing it's just be they want to hide it Obviously, I don't really believe this, but I'm just curious. It's like, you know, it's like when they opened Houdini's, uh, uh, or they tried to do that seance 10 years ago with uh, Houdini on Halloween, because he said he'd return on Halloween Sunday. You know, don't you, don't you want to be there if it really happens? So, uh, this is the, uh, the directions. Directions. I don't know where they are. What? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we're, we're, uh, you, you, you call us up and tell us to come over. There's and somewhere on the table. This isn't really the good part of town. You know what? I, I Did you see her face? Did you see her face? It was the ugliest fucking thing I ever seen. Like, <laughs> this isn't really the good part of town. I know. Why don't we have a spare? This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Don't drink's not here. Um, this is fucked up. What about Natalie, dude? Where'd she fucking go? <laughs> <laughs>